A recent article published in MDPI's journal Mathematics, titled Assembly Theory of Binary Messages, presents an exciting research topic. We applied assembly theory, an experimentally confirmed framework for quantifying selection, evolution, and molecular complexity in chemistry, to bit strings, which are sequences of zeros and ones. This study offers new insights into the complexity and redundancy of binary data. The results have significant implications for data science, communication, and information theory. Imagine two bit strings. Both are 8 bits long and have identical Hamming weights. As such, both bit strings have the same Shannon entropy. However, the second bit string is more patternless. Shannon entropy is not sensitive to these patterns. Another known complexity measure, Kolmogorov complexity, is not computable. String assembly theory, unlike other complexity measures, accounts for these patterns in an unambiguous and computable manner. Using assembly theory, we can assemble the bit strings from bits and previously assembled patterns that entered the assembly pool and can be reused. The first bit string can be assembled in three steps, while at least six steps are required to assemble the second bit string. Furthermore, the shortest assembly pathway for the first string is unique. There are many shortest possible pathways having different assembly pools that are able to produce the second string. We demonstrate that the string assembly index has a lower bound determined by the shortest addition chain for the length of a string, n. This minimum assembly index is independent of the number of unique digits that form the string. It is the same for nucleotide sequences, for example. Furthermore, we show that for any finite number of these unique digits, the string assembly index has an upper bound that is lower than n minus 1. For example, even the most patternless 8-bit strings can be assembled in 6 steps and not 7. We define the degree of causation based on the general assembly theory bound and the minimum assembly index and find patterns for certain n values by dividing the set of natural numbers into sections with the widths corresponding to 1, 2, 4, 8, and subsequent powers of 2. For example, bit strings with lengths that are subsequent powers of 2 have a degree of causation equal to 1 because their assembly pathway is unique. Bit strings with lengths in each section that are sums of the given power of 2 and subsequent powers of 2 have a lower degree of causation that is bounded below by half, while the remaining bit strings have a non-vanishing degree of causation bounded above by 15 divided by 32. We define bin putation as the process of assembling bit strings using other bit string programs containing bits representing two commands. Zero corresponds to taking the last element from the assembly pool, joining it with itself, and outputting it. And one corresponds to taking the last two elements from the assembly pool, joining them with each other, and outputting it. We show that a bitstring program of a given length assembles bitstrings with assembly indices equal to the length of that program. Programs also assemble other non-minimum assembly index bit strings if the program length is larger than 3 bits. In general, bit string programs assemble bit strings with lengths that can be expressed as products of Fibonacci numbers. Our results can be applied in cybersecurity or in fintech domains, such as blockchains or crypto tokenomy. Furthermore, we believe that just because it is simple to check if a solution to a problem is correct does not mean that the problem is easy to solve. Therefore, string assembly theory can provide the proof for the P not equaling NP conjecture. There are several possible directions for future research, including the application of string assembly theory to multidimensional data and integrating it with machine learning algorithms. By expanding the scope of this theory, we can uncover more efficient methods for handling complex datasets. In conclusion, assembly theory represents a significant advancement in our understanding of data complexity and efficiency. 
it is a testament to the power of mathematical innovation to solve real-world problems.